Top five water conservation tips. There are 100 plus ways to conserve water and they all start with you. I curated five of those tips that fit two or more of the following criteria. Easy to implement, low cost, saves a lot of water, or makes it easier to save water in the future. This pyramid shows the average daily water usage for Arizona residents living in the Phoenix Metro and how that water usage breaks down. The number here in Tempe is now less than 120 gallons, thanks to efforts from residents like you. But the pyramid offers important insights as to where this water goes based on residential end use studies. As you can see, more than half of this water is used outdoors for the typical household to water the landscape or fill pools. There are still opportunities to save indoors as well. So we'll start there and end outside. Within the home, toilet flushing is the largest use of water with showers, faucets, and clothes washers following closely behind, mainly because of how water efficient our toilets have gotten over the last 30 years. Sadly, leaks account for 12% of the water used indoors. So that brings us to water use it wisely tip number 41. Look for water sense labeled toilets, faucets, and shower heads when you replace an older one and you can save with every use. For example, upgrading an old toilet can save anywhere from a gallon to four gallons of water with every flush. A shower head can save up to 750 gallons a month. Upgrading that bathroom faucet to a water sense labeled model can save as much as 3,000 gallons per year. Have all three? save up to 18,700 gallons a year. It's important to note that saving water indoors often means saving on energy and heating costs as well. This is the average daily hot water use per household by fixture or appliance. By reducing water usage per minute or per use for these devices, you can then save on heating costs. Some of these devices are certified by the EPA Energy Star, but they also use water as well as energy more efficiently. For these products, EPA lists a water factor, and you'll want to select those that have a water factor of 4.2 or below. The indoor fixtures that use the most water have often have low cost options, but even inexpensive toilets are on the higher end and they can last 30 years or more. For that reason, here in Tempe, we offer rebates for high efficiency toilet upgrades to help incentivize early replacement of older toilets, as well as alleviate some of that cost. More rebates, including additional indoor fixtures for multifamily facilities, are available and can be found at tempe.gov conservation. Additionally, SRP customers have access to the SRPMarketplace.com, which applies instant rebates for many products, including several water fixtures like shower heads, garden hose nozzles, and faucet aerators. Water saving tip number 50, use your water meter to check for leaks. We also have several leak detection resources that can help, including a booklet and a step-by-step -step video available at tempe.gov leaks. The average household loses 10,000 gallons to leaks every year to issues like the ones shown on the screen. That adds up. Here in Tempe, it is estimated that in 2020, our single family residential households lost 21.2 million gallons to leaks. That number may seem high, but it is actually half of what it was in 2019 due to our ability to send leak alerts, quickly informing residents of their leaks so they can find and fix them promptly. Tempe's advanced metering infrastructure provides us with the ability to detect potential continuous usage leaks. And our WaterSmart customer portal sends automated usage alerts when the data shows a potential leak. In 2020, for example, our automated system sent out over 18,000 alerts, and it is estimated that those alerts helped save or reduce the water waste by 41.2 million gallons. If you haven't registered for WaterSmart, this is a great time. You can also use it to monitor your current and historical watering trends, turn on leak alerts and text alerts, and more. Visit tempe.gov WaterSmart to learn more and get registered. One of the most common questions that we get from residents who have just received a leak alert or a high utility bill, whether that leak rate is seven gallons per hour or 100 gallons per hour is, 
how could I have a leak rate that high? There should be a sitting pool of water if my leak was that high, or I would see it flowing. Unfortunately, that is rarely the case. Most leaks are hidden. Tempe residents who have received leak alerts have reported back on the locations of their leaks. 44% of these residents so far have reported that the leaks were found in their outdoor watering systems. The other common location is the toilet, pool, or pipes. The quickest way to find a leak is to perform an, what's called an isolation test using the water meter. In just 15 to 30 minutes, you can usually locate the general location of a leak using the isolation method. Tempe has a version of the isolation method that has been adjusted and honed through hundreds of consultations with residents to help them find their leaks. You can find this method in the Find and Fix Leaks video on our website. Water saving tip number 106 is all about outdoor water usage. Managing outdoor water usage is one of the easiest methods to save a high amount of water. If you have a landscape, this is where to start if you want to save water and money immediately. Timing is everything when it comes to irrigation. Learn how to set your controller properly. Read the Landscape Watering by the Numbers Guidebook or watch our workshop on Landscape Watering 101 to help you determine how long and how much to water. This has the potential for high water savings, especially if you have a lawn. For example, it is not uncommon to see watering sessions utilizing 1,000 gallons of water. While the instinct is to water nearly every day in the summer, you can water a lawn every three days in June and July and every four days in August and September. But going from six days of watering to two days of watering per week, you are essentially reducing that watering schedule by four days. And if your watering session is typical of what we see, that's a potential to save 4,000 gallons of water. When it comes to outdoor water use, keep in mind that the annual plant water demand, that is the amount of water our plants need to thrive, actually changes throughout the year. And the maximum water needs are actually in June, even though the weather might feel worse in July or August for our human bodies. This landscape watering guide image, this card here, provides recommendations on how long and how often to water. We can provide the, this to you. It's also on our website at tempe.gov conservation. Water saving tip number 77. This is to choose Arizona friendly plants whenever possible. Next time you add or replace a flower or shrub, choose that low water use plant and you can save up to 550 gallons a year. You can also watch them thrive in our desert environment as many of these plants are adapted to our soil conditions and can go through periods of hot and dry weather and come out the other end. You can even increase the water savings if some of these plants are replacing lawn that you're no longer using or don't want to have. Find over 200 low water use plants that thrive in the Arizona landscape at amwa.org plants or request a print copy. Right up to you. Tempe offers a rebate for converting grass to desert landscapes that is worth up to $2,000. Visit our website to learn more. We also offer a tree bait incentive. It's called tree bait, but it actually applies to each of those plants that are desert adapted and on the Arizona Department of Water Resources drought tolerant list. Visit our website, click the rebate tab to learn more. That brings us to water saving tip number 102. Apply water only as fast as the soil can absorb it. Here in the valley, that's unfortunately not very fast. The soil here is compact and full of clay, which means the pore spaces between the earth materials are small. Each time you water, you want to reach about three feet at the drip line or edge of the canopy for trees, two feet for shrubs, and one foot for small plants like ground cover, wildflowers, and cacti. For grass, six to ten inches is sufficient. Because you can only apply water as fast as the soil can accept it, you may need to utilize a few strategies to slow the speed at which water is coming out of the watering system or to increase the soil's ability to absorb water. Here, you can select irrigation technology that distributes water slowly, such as drip irrigation or high efficiency sprinkler nozzles. 
regardless of the technology you use, you will likely need to break up a long watering session into shorter periods to allow time for that water to infiltrate before applying more water. This is called cycle and soak. Consider contouring the landscape with basins and berms that allow water to linger and slowly sink into the soil. This picture on the screen shows a yard that has basins incorporated throughout, but it can be as simple as contouring that drip line around the edge of a beloved tree's canopy to be lower than the landscape around it, allowing that water to gather and sit long enough to infiltrate into our soil's tight pore spaces. Of course, that water can't sit for more than 24 hours. So if you notice that the water is not sinking, you may need to improve the ecology of your soil to increase the infiltration rate of water through it. If you are interested in improving your soil, check out our All About Soils workshop, which includes tips on mulching and composting. Often the top dressing of soil can make it harder to see the contouring of soil. So here's a picture of contouring occurring around an existing palaverde tree right before the edges were smoothed out and mulch added on top. Take note that the trunk of the tree is kept raised and out of that wet spot to prevent rot. The depression is focused at the drip line at the edge of the canopy, and it is spread out to allow water to sink to as many water absorbing new roots as possible. That's it for the top five tips. If you would like to know how much water you should be using, we now have a new calculator you can use to find out called the water use calculator. Simply answer a few questions and you can identify the estimated efficient water usage each month for your home and your landscape. Then you can compare that to your monthly water usage by visiting tempe.gov watersmart and logging into your watersmart customer portal.